unscripted uh, new part uh, demonstration. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to select part and uh, add new part. That brings up this dialog here. And we need to fill out a couple of file names, colors, and prices, and stuff like that. So um, I'll show you what part I'm going to do is this part right here. So it's a three-way kind of gusset thing. Um, now let's see if we can do this part. So I've already generated the uh, the um, wireframe and the uh, STLs for it, just a uh, simplified version. One thing you'll notice is the, uh, the part expands in the X, Y, and Z directions to fill the unit box. So, you know, from Z equals zero to one and X and Y going from minus a half to a half. That consistency will allow us to share the STLs across different dimensions, 20, 20, 30, 30, for instance. So we make two parts in one um, just by changing the dimensions. So those dimensions are all, <laughs> kitty, they're all standardized. So let's see, the name, we'll call this um, 2020 uh, Corner Plate Three Way. Okay, and I know that doesn't exist already, so I'm gonna go. Uh, wireframe, we could select one of the existing wireframes, but uh, this part doesn't have one, so we're gonna go new and it is in the uh, scripts, S packages, STL, and hopefully we find one here. Um, okay, corner. Let's see what we call it. We'll come back over here and say, uh, let's make this be a uh, wireframe rather than a, um, a full-on STL. So here's the, the basic script. I have the dimensions here, 6060, the dimension, the height is uh, four millimeters. I'm just gonna change wireframe to be uh, uh, true, and hopefully that will redraw. Mm. Maybe I have to say, uh, oh, it's not wireframe. Oh, darn it. That's the problem. I hope. Oh, there we go. So that gets rid of the hole, gets rid of the holes in a lot of vertices. Okay, so this I'm going to do design render and design file export STL. And we want this to be corner plate three-way, corner plate three-way wireframe. Okay, it's this one. Save, replace. Let's get back to this. STL uh, corner three-way. I'm not seeing it. Maybe I didn't save it as STL. Export where STL. This is in the, oh, oh we gotta go uh, to Alex. It was in the wrong STL file, darn it. Uh, we'll go to Alex scripts. In scripts, we go to packages. Packages, we go to STL. In here, we'll call it corner plate three-way wireframe. Save. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can find it here. Corner plate three-way wireframe. Okay, good. There it is. Open that up. And that uh, imports this wireframe. Looks kind of ugly now, but we're just going to be smushed down to uh, just four millimeters thickness. That makes it look a little better, and hopefully, we'll be able to clean those up later. Uh, the STL, we'll do the same thing with the STL. So let's uh, save this in here first. So that is uh, wireframe 
this boolean is backwards, but uh, design render file export export STL. And this is hopefully the same spot you'll see packages STL. And this time we won't put the WF on there, so it's not a word. Okay, save. And then come back to our dialog and say about that. Open that. Price. Uh, let's see. The price on this thing is you get four pieces for $13. So that sounds like about $425. Let's see, $13 divided by four. 1325, all right, 325, sorry. 3.25. And the URL, uh, I've already got the bit.ly URL for this. So we'll just grab that from here. And the color is black, so let's choose a nice charcoal here. If you choose totally black, it becomes invisible, so that looks good. Uh, length is uh, four millimeters. Gem one is 60, gem two is 60. That's the horizontal dimensions. And we will not do the interface on this because it flips and the interfaces don't accommodate that. So it'd be easier just to uh, manually do that. Uh, we can't commit until we validate it. That just checks all these fields are valid. And we commit here. And should be in there. OK, so let's uh, close that. Come here to part, look up part. And corner plate three way is right here. Say select. And there it is. And let's see, that's the corner plate three way scan. Guess it's SCAD. There we go. There's our part in SCAD. So let's uh, build something with it with uh, new Alex. Take this part, rotate it up. Oops. We want to rotate one of these guys. And we'll align it with that. So we want it to be in the plus Y direction and flush in the Z direction. And we'll duplicate that and move it up here. So that'd be in the opposite side there. So there's that. Uh, we can start building with it. It's good to go. Notice the price is already incorporated. Uh, it's all working. All right, uh, next up, I'll show how to do the, um, the piecewise linear. Uh, I don't have any parts to include there now, but I will ju just show how that works. So in part, look up part. We can edit all these parts here. So let's just pull one of these up, like uh, 2020 Alex. Say we got a new deal on 2020 Alex. We can come to edit. And this, if we uh, know the price and links we, uh, for the custom links, we can put that in there make a custom function for this uh, part. Uh, when we're all done, we'll do validate commit. Uh, you can also delete parts here and close without doing anything. So we'll do that. OK, I hope you guys uh, will try uh, making some parts and adding to the library. All right, see you next time.